Don in London, hello. December 24th, 2009, Christmas Eve. How did it ever get to Christmas Eve? This year seems to have flown by. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol. My behaviour, e equally addictive. Work, relationships, collecting, materialistic, you name it. Any, anything at all to fix me, to fix the gap inside. That gnawing fear, putting on a brave face to cover it up. And I guess a very brittle ego. And if you smash my ego, what did you find? Not very much. And that's where drink took me. Th 35 years on, that drinking habit. And uh, it went from conviviality and joyfulness and experiencing feelings with drink inside me, which I had never imagined beyond fear. But the thing was, I never knew I was in fear in the first place because it was always there. And when we have something that we live with all the time, we get forgetful. And that's a bit like drinking too. So my drinking story, 35 years long, it never, it never occurred to me that I would become dependent and an addict and in a malady or disease, which is emotional and physical. And as some say, spiritual as well, which is not able to live in the moment of now with comfort. So somehow, from a very early age, I was irritable and discontented and fear was underneath it, always. And I didn't know, because it was always there. So, ignorance is not bliss. I knew there was something wrong, but you know, a drink took the edge off and made life palatable, and often joyful, and there were many happy times. So, I cannot say for 35 years I lived dreadfully, but I did live in a different sort of existence, and that was trying to be the person I thought I ought to be, or trying to be the person I thought you wanted me to be. And these days, I'm just me, one day at a time, just living how to, how to living in the day and how to be me. So who am I? Who am I? Well, I'm Don, and I'm an alcoholic, and I'm in recovery, and I'm very pleased to be able to say that. And no, it's for one day. If I had to make the time scale bigger. I might start going into the future, and the future will bother me so much that it can take me back into fantasy. And if I get to fantasy, I get back to self-will and obsession about how it ought to be, or how it might be, rather than how it is. So what's made me able to take each day as it comes, and make that connection to the truth of now, as best I can? And don't forget, the truth is always being informed by our experience and our, our environment. Well, it took family, friends, community, professionals to keep me alive long enough to get that moment of clarity that I could not beat alcoholism on my own. And to make that admission, it's an, ex it's an admission, not an acceptance. What I found, found is that acceptance comes a day at a time as well. So there is no long-term recovery. I can't say I'm recovered. Or I might say I recovered yesterday. Could I? I may be. I don't know. But the gift is that having got that moment of clarity, which, which for me was, I cannot do it on my own. Self-will run to self-obsession and God knows what else. Blaming the world for my problems when in fact I was the problem. Well, uh, a fellowship came along in my life and I never thought it would be right for me. I was reluctant, hateful, rageful, unhappy and discontented and I went to my first AA meeting shocked by what I saw. Happy people, just simply happy people, those who had been in sobriety a while. But I also found that people were not always happy, that they were either happy or sad as their life experience afforded, but they were dealing with it without drinking and they were dealing with it without obsessing to great degrees about why, why it wasn't the way they wanted it to be, but trying to accept how it is. And that fellowship AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, has been in my life for some time now, and it works, because it's full of unique, authentic people who share their experience, strength and hope in order to help me improve my wisdom on how to live my life. And the fellowship offers 12 steps of action to change my attitude and behaviour on a daily basis. It sounds like a lot of steps, 12 steps of action. 
well when they're embedded in your head just like a computer when it's working properly everything's okay but uh, if I don't go back for reminders which is why there are lots of AA meetings I think I'll find myself in difficulty again because I'll go back to self-will, frustration, anger and ragefulness because I just can't sort it out on my own so I'm glad to be in AA and the statement of intent which is shared at every meeting goes like this and I share it here because it does slow me down into the moment of now and remind me of what is possible and what is not possible Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism the only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking there are no dues or fees for AA membership we are self-supporting through our own contributions AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution does not wish to engage in any controversy neither endorses nor opposes any causes our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety and yesterday I, I felt the need A. to go to a regular meeting which is uh, what we call home group which is down in Flood Street and I also knew that one of my friends was going to pick up a two year chip and uh, that two year chip is significant because you know two years sober is a, an awful long time for somebody who's been driven to drink for God knows how many years so the gift these days is if we do understand how to improve our attitude and behavior on a daily basis and don't make it too big or too small and know that if we get to be right sized people that is the same as everybody else on the planet and we have the same opportunities as our environment offers then we stop thinking that life is doing us down and that we get on with whatever's going on for us so two meetings last night and I couldn't stay for the full one in order to, without getting to the second one so I heard two chairs two people sharing their experience, strength and hope equally good because they took a different angle on sobriety so the gift for me, I saw a person get their two year chip I also got to hug lots of girls in the fellowship because it's Christmas and uh, you know that that is it, a hug and it's great, it means that we're just part of and I did hug some other chaps as well but it's you know like chaps hug anyway that's just the way it is so daily readings I share here and uh, daily reflections covers the 12 steps one a month and it's step 12 in December obviously and it says here for December 24th a sane and happy usefulness we have come to believe he would like us to keep our heads in the clouds with him but that our feet ought to be firmly planted on the earth that is where our fellow travellers are and that is where our work must be done these are the realities for us we have found nothing incompatible between a powerful spiritual experience and a life of sane and happy usefulness and for me spiritual experience is living in the moment understanding the truth of now and the ability to cope as one archbishop once said and he goes on to say all the prayer and meditation in the world will not help me unless they are accompanied by action Practicing the principles in all my affairs shows me the care that God takes in all parts of my life and it can be God or good conscience according to your own personal belief. God appears in my world when I move aside and allow him to step into it. And for me the, the bit which it's, it works for me simply because I understand my higher power and I have a, an understanding which is nuts and bolts about God which is God is universal truth and uh, you know God is beyond definition it's the universe and whatever is behind it which is all good and I don't have to worry about that all I need to know is I'm not God and I'm just the same size as everybody else so for me my usefulness is to be able to love people be loved back and do something useful on a daily basis so I share the serenity prayer to God or to your good conscience as you understand and authentically God grant me the serenity to, under to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can what I can do and what I can't do and the wisdom to know the difference is always for me just for today Happy Christmas